Hello, 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 hello,
We haven't seen this one yet. It's with the biggest directors, early 2000s. Superheroes, vigilante killers, and more. But 30 years ago, before he was a superstar, Now, he played the role of a young loser in a film that didn't really have much of a point. 90s, sorry. Sunil, a boy refusing to become an adult, constantly failing in his exams, and just obsessed with his music and his crush. Yeah. Now, is easily the most charming and relatable character that Shah Rukh has ever played in the most misunderstood rom-com of Bollywood, where, spoiler alert, the boy does ah! Okay. <laughs> thank you for thank you for saying it. Any number of times because of its calm, chilled out vibe in a pre Dilchata hai Goa setting, low stakes story. With what is that must? What is that beard on him? And of course, this Shah Rukh playing a super flawed, unserious, completely against the hero image kind of character that the world knows him by today. Right from the opening sequence of him riding a motorcycle, singing. We've seen a lot of songs. While going to pick up Anna from the railway station. The trumpet one. To the end credits. Out of the water. It's a classic Hindi feel good film. Might be. I don't know. Manorama six feet under. Nepotism is an issue that plagues every professional field, including the film industry, where access and multiple opportunities <laughs> are given to those born into a film family. While star kids can't choose the family that they're born into, every decade has a few handful of them who accept their privilege but decide to work on their craft and carve a niche for themselves. Ah, oh, Captain a Miller. Of this is Abedyol, an actor who tried his best to shed his legacy and literally created a subgenre for himself, taking on projects that no actor was doing at the time. The neo-noir murder mystery, Manorama Six Feet Under, which is such an underrated gem, no streaming on YouTube for free. And I recommend all of you to sit down, grab some snacks and drinks, and just enjoy the slow burn, atmospheric nature of it. Every time I think of Ayushman's film choices, I almost always think whether Ayushman would have made it if it wasn't for what Abedyol did in the past. An actor who, despite his family legacy and his unique film choices... Is he uh, Bobby Dole's kid or Sonny Dole's kid? Up. The next two films have a lot of similarities between them. Makbul and Omkara. Oh. Yeah. Directed by the master storyteller Vishal Agree. Bhargwaj. Never heard of him. Most of our popular filmmakers used to just pick up a DVD and just copy-paste it into an unofficial Hindi remake. This man has painstakingly just taken the skeleton of Shakespeare's work, the core emotions of greed or lust or jealousy and with his mastery, adds flesh and blood with multi-dimensional grey characters in an intricate screenplay, spectacular dialogues and timeless music in a way that will make Shakespeare wake up from his grave and say, well done Ben. While both have Agreed. Friends, Agreed. Every Agreed. single member of the cast, Agreed. Omkara especially shocked us by presenting Saif Ali Khan in a way that we've never seen him before, hitting it out at the stadium as the cunning and scheming Langda Tyagi. And of course, both films didn't work at the box office when they initially released. I think most Suri of his films haven't worked at the box office. Over the years. And finally, Hey Ram. I was nine years old when Hey Ram came out, and as this kid, didn't we do well. Anywhere near the film because of all the kissing and ass fighting scenes, and maybe a majority of, of the sex scene. thought that this is what the film is about, which is why they may have refused to watch it. Those who actually did watch it may have found it over long, too complicated, too dark, or intellectual. And I can't say that nope. the film would have been appreciated Not at all. if it had released today, because honestly, this is a film that would have been boycotted left, right, and center. Kamal Hassan's films being way ahead of their time or being 
being misunderstood is a whole different list altogether. But right at the top, we would find a film like Eram, a huge, ambitious masterpiece written and directed by the legend himself that talks about friendship, freedom, religion, identity, post-traumatic stress disorder, and each time you sit down to watch it, it reveals yet another layer. Even if it had Shah Rukh Khan sharing screen space with Kamal Hassan, a haunting album by Elay Raja, won three national awards, and even touted as one of the most expensive films of that time, if there were protests against the release of the film 23 years ago, there is no way in hell that it would be accepted today. And that was part three of box office failures that became cult classics. I'm going to link part one and part two right here. You can find it. Don't forget to check out. I did out not know that Hey Ram was a box office online store failure. Now. I think it's a lot of the uh, old films that are hard to like. like Swadesh is technically a box. Yeah, I remember. Swap. Yeah, like you never like. It's hard to tell what will take and what, or like especially this far out of it. It's yeah. Like, wait, everybody loves that film. How was it a box office flop? Yeah. Um, but you know, it happens all the time. It happens every single year. Yeah. Of, of certain films are um, not seen that that should have been seen uh, by more people, and then they. That's why it's I guess called a cold classic because. Yeah. It it takes on a life of its own, but ha like a Azna Abna Abna, like people love that film. <laughs> like <laughs> all I hear is like that's everybody's like favorite comedy ever mm. in the Hindi film yeah. industry. Um, thank you for telling us there was a spoil. If there actually was, I don't know, but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm always glad gonna we got a warning. I'm always going to err on this cautious yep. side <laughs> in case we ever watch it. Absolutely. Um, so we, we 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 aren't spoiled there, but yeah, I love his I love his list. Let us know, obviously. If some of these uh, will be worth uh, the the superhero one, is one that's very intriguing to me. We've seen the trailer for it a uh, long time ago, probably three years ago. Really, I'd imagine. Yeah, I don't remember it. Um, but Baishtai Joji, uh, I can't pronounce the name of it. But it's um, what's this? Uh, Anil Kapoor's kid who we saw right. Thor and a couple other things. Yeah, and we loved. Yeah, he's a he's a really good actor. That was one of the more underappreciated films, as far as like I think anybody talking about it in any way, shape, or People form was was Thor. It. Yeah, I think it was it was a Netflix film, right? Or at least <sighs> don't remember. It went straight to Netflix. It was it went straight to streaming. Um, and so I think that maybe that's why people forgot about it because it was really nice. Yeah. Everybody's performance and that was great. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so you guys can let us know. That's that's one specifically that I've wanted to watch. But the fact that Hey Ram wasn't a it's wild success is kind that's, of that crazy. I consider that one of the greatest Indian films ever made. Hey Ram. Um, in the uh, Kamal Hassan's films, I how many how many of Kamal Hassan's film? Maybe it's different from Hindi to Tamil depending on where he did it. Yeah. How many of his films were successful? I imagine he has quite a few successes, obviously, but also quite a few that are like probably Anirag or Vishal's in terms of it's too far advanced for a lot of people, especially for the time where he was making films. Yeah. And people like either didn't understand it or like, because we applauded that sex scene like crazy with gorgeous. Ronnie and, and Kamal. Yep. In, in Hey Ram, spoilers, there's a sex scene. Um, but it's beautifully done. Yeah. And it was so wonderful. The yeah. fact that he says his parents didn't let him watch it because it was all the kissing. And <laughs> yeah. Which I don't get. But obviously it was a different yeah. time and a different culture. But all it happened here no, all the, the time, especially in the 90s and the early it, it, it It still happens. It, I mean, if this is a microcosm of it, but I remember my first trip to... No, my, my second trip to Kolkata... Um, which it was, careful it was close to Valentine's Day, and we were filming. We had just finished breakfast, and we were walking on the street. And when I ended the video, when we were going there, I said, Happy Valentine's Day, and I gave Indrani a kiss. The amount of hate I got saying, Don't destroy our culture. Don't do that in public. I was like, Whoa. <laughs> I did not know that giving my girlfriend at the time a little kiss as we're walking you on the street. You are destroying culture. Was going right. to mean I'm I'm bringing my Western ideas into your society and destroying your culture. How dare you? You should be ashamed of yourself, really. Uh, <laughs> but uh, another really good video. Let us know about any of these films in here. That I, a couple I know, obviously. Yeah. Uh, in terms There's of, a couple I don't, especially the superhero one. I mean, I don't remember the one we reacted. I've had that on my list for a long yeah. time. Uh, you guys can let us know if that, and also if they're, like that one specifically, because I don't know if that one's like just like a review or if mm -hmm. that one's like a watch along, because... I'm assuming he was just talking about the Hindi film industry, but actually not really, because Manal no. was Malayalam. Hey, Ram. 
Uh, no, in terms of the, you talk about superhero films. Oh, I don't know. In if general, either I don't know what he thought about the the Dama one we just saw that came out this year. Yeah, I, I, he may have done this. When was this? This he just came out. Oh, maybe he didn't see it. I'd imagine he's seen it. But was that a box office success? Did it do well? Manuel Menard did well. Did it? Oh, that was no, streaming. no, no. The other one, the other one that you just referenced when we just the watched. Dama? Yeah, I think it did well. That's why. Because it was not a box office. He uh, he was only talking about box office flops. Manol Minari wasn't a book. He only referenced Manol Minari in terms of his favorite superhero movie, period, irrespective of box office. But this video was about films that became cult classics, even though they were box office failures. It also, was it a full superhero movie? Either, right, technically. Yeah. yeah, and it still hasn't been around long enough to be considered a cult classic. Because so. that, that one, I think, did it really well. Yeah. Uh, the super. I part. hope so. Um, anyways, anyway, let us know there you go. about any of those films uh, and any of his other videos we should react to, and go subscribe to him as always down below. Just.